Flow Bowling, you can do it from all ages, all shapes, all sizes, all athletic ability. You're going to need some hand-eye coordination, but at the same time, you can do it all different shapes and sizes. You'll never master it. Every day is different. Every bowling center is different. Every lane is different. So I don't want to do anything that I can master. I want to continue to try to get better at it to get the closest to mastering it as anybody can. On the road, uh, you know, we have so many friends out here, we end up normally spending the day together doing something, something we wouldn't normally do. It, that could change from, we might be playing poker at a casino to uh, might go to a movie, might just sit in the room and play dominoes, just something we always do together. We're kind of like family out here with a, with a group of guys that I room with. Any of them at Madden, they can't beat me at Madden, so I'll play any of them they want. But. Uh, Sean Maldonado and I played a lot of Madden a couple years ago on the road and uh, it was pretty fun to watch him get mad because he thought he could win and he couldn't get within 30. And we kept saying, Julio! Uh, winning the US Open, because the year before I bowled terrible at the US Open and won four times that year, probably cost me winning player of the year that year. And then to come back the next year to win the tournament and to, to win player of the year was, it was just a, a dream come true. It was a tournament that I wasn't, didn't think I was ready to win. Uh, the pattern was really hard at that time and you know, everything else and just everything came together that week and I ended up getting the flu afterwards and didn't even bowl the next week so all the adrenaline when it hit me and it was done it's just a week that I look back on and I can almost tell you every shot that week. I would say Korea, uh, the Busan, or the uh, Sam Ho Cup. Um, this tournament was scheduled well out and we had you know a trip scheduled with uh, there and then going to Japan to do some exhibitions. And uh, my dad had lung cancer and he had very, you know, it was really rapid. And uh, I got on the plane pretty much knowing my dad was going to die when I left. And I landed in Korea and obviously got the phone call that my dad died, pulled the tournament and uh, managed to win the tournament. And then as soon as I was done, it was just through the last shot and it, was, it just hit me and it was, it was, it was it. Probably something in the bowling industry, uh, just because it's really all I've known for my whole adult life is, you know, to be around bowling. Maybe a sales rep or doing some coaching somewhere. You know, it's it's been my whole life, and I couldn't imagine being out of it. Um, and I really like people. So if it wasn't in bowling, we'd probably be doing sales something else because I just like talking to people and meeting different people. But hopefully, I would be able to coach and do some other stuff like that. Losing is not really an option to me. If I, can, if I don't feel like I can win consistently yet, I don't do it. And you can ask my friends, it doesn't matter what it is. If, if you want to go play soccer, I'm not going to play soccer with you. I, I'm terrible at soccer, you're going to beat me. So it's just my will to win. I, I, I don't like doing anything I can't win at. So when we, when we get on the lanes, I'm here to win and that's it.